Black rat snakes are some of the most common large reptiles where I live, and are frequent inhabitants of both wilderness and suburban areas. I try and track down a few special individuals year after year, but my favorite snake to find is a truly spectacular female that I have named Big Bertha. You saw me catch her in 2016, but since then, she has gotten much bigger. Guys, this is Big Bertha. There is no other snake in this neighborhood that is this big, no way. Look at her. Look at that. She's at least six feet long. That is absolutely enormous. Now rat snakes can technically get a little bit bigger than this, but just check out how long this snake is. I would say she's at least 10 years old by now. I seen her when I was a little kid in my yard, and then we caught her maybe three years ago down here at the pond again. I bet this is the exact same individual um, that we caught those other times. And you can also see that girth there in my hand. She's extremely healthy. She's super thick. She's not just long like a black racer. She's also really hefty around the middle. This is the biggest snake in North Carolina I think I've ever seen. It is so cool to find individuals that are this old because oftentimes, since they are so big and so visible, people see these in their yard and they just kill them. And yeah, I guess snakes pop up unexpectedly and they can be kind of scary. But you can see that even when handled, this completely wild black rat snake is posing absolutely no threat to me or anyone else. These are very calm nature, docile snakes. They're like free pest control. And there is absolutely zero reason in the world to ever be scared of an animal like this. You can just appreciate their incredible size and beauty. I mean, look at that. How often do you see a reptile this big in North Carolina? That's absolutely fantastic. You guys want to hold her? Yeah. Yes. All right. She's huge. Back up a little bit so we can see how long she is. This is a black rat snake, and she's really old, and her name is Big Bertha. She is non-venomous, and she doesn't. she's never been to anyone. She's super calm, and look how big she is. Yeah, she's enormous. Maybe four um, feet. She's at least six feet. You she, can tell that she's you can see all of her right how here. big she is. Um, black rat snakes, like, um, this are in the middle of the food chain, so if you don't hurt them, because they can affect animals, uh, that prey on them, and, um, that they eat. Alright everyone, I am so glad that we could bring this incredible snake up in front of the camera for you. I have not seen her in so long, I was getting worried that she might be dead, but as you can see, she is very alive and very healthy. It's so cool to see a snake this big out in the wild here in North Carolina. Um, these are the biggest snakes that we do have here natively in the state. Uh, and I don't, this probably isn't a state record or anything because she could grow about another foot if she lives for a couple years longer. But this is an absolutely massive rat snake. It's just, it's so rare to see them at this size here in the Piedmont. So we just found her hanging out at this little gazebo by the pond. If you look down there, you can see that we have two small ponds and then a little forested area, um, which is probably where she was hanging out because there's lots of amphibians and small rodents in these kinds of habitats as well that I'm sure she was hunting. But she's gorgeous. We'll set her right back down where we picked her up. And you can see that she is just gonna go about her business. If you see them in your yard, there's no reason to get freaked out. They are just living their best life, just like you are. They're the most calm snakes you can possibly imagine. You can walk right beside them. They just go about their business. They have absolutely no intention to harm you or your animals. All right, now we just released her maybe five minutes ago. She immediately came over here and started climbing this tree. We have not helped her get up this tree at all. And you can see she's like almost as tall as I am. And she has so many coils. She's not even close to being straight out. Now black rat snakes are absolutely incredible climbers. You can see what she's doing with her body, throwing it into these S-shaped coils. Each of these coils is creating friction with the bark of the tree and kind of helping her grip the bark. And you can't see it, but under her belly, all those ventral scales are also providing a little extra grip. So by creating this S-shape, she can climb this completely vertical tree trunk, which has actually pretty slippery bark because it just rained. But during the summer months, you'll often see black rat snakes in trees like this. They can actually be almost fully arboreal in the summer when it's really hot on the ground because up in the trees there's a little bit of a breeze and it's usually a lot cooler. But it's so awesome to watch them climb. Alright everyone, that's just about it for this video. 
I really hope that you enjoyed and learned something new about the black rat snake. If you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like on this video and consider subscribing to my channel for new educational wildlife content coming as often as possible on Saturday mornings. If you want more consistent photos and video clips from my adventures, be sure to follow my Instagram and Twitter at The Wild Report. And click the link in the description to subscribe to my new Wild Report newsletter. Thanks so much for watching, and keep adventuring everywhere. This has been Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.